right, guys, uh, real quick video today, man. I just wanted to talk about running back Rod Smith for the Dallas Cowboys. Um, this is one of those running back running back you cannot give up on or forget about. Uh, he had a very impactful season last year, uh, especially with Zeke being on suspension and him and Alpha Morris kind of kind of switching out and alternating in the running back position. Uh, this kid can do it all, man. He can he can run the ball. He can catch out of the backfield. Um, last year he had what he rushed for 232 yards, 4.2 average, four touchdowns, and he had 19 catches for 202 yards. So that right there lets you know that he can run out of the backfield. You can even line him up at the slot. Uh, just to, you know, for a trick play or, or, or just to throw the defense off, you know. Uh, but he will catch the – he can. He has the capability of catching the ball out of the backfield. Um, but he was in the shadow of Zeke and Alpha Morris last year. Pretty much Alpha Morris because Zeke was on suspension for six games. So, um, you know, Alpha Morris, we may lose him to uh, – we're probably – Gonna lose him to free agency. I don't think the Dallas Cowboys are gonna re-sign this guy. As much as I like Alfred Morris, man, he did a really good job last year. Uh, I thought he could have did a little better. Uh, he rushed for 547 yards, 4.8 average, just one touchdown. So uh, I thought he could have scored a little more. Uh, that would have helped. But uh, Alfred Morris is one of those type of guys that he desperately needs a healthy, strong, dominant offensive line uh, in front of him to make something happen. Now, I'm not saying he. He can't, you know, he, some games he did. He was very explosive, but um, he doesn't have that superstar attribute, uh, next level type running game like Zeke, you know, so, um, but he did the best he could for what, what, what he had, you know, um, but back to Morris, man, like I say, I think this kid is, is you kind of want to stick to what you got. I know they were talking about on the radio on the way home. I was listening in. And they were saying draft a running back. And I'm like, why draft a running back when we got a damn good running back out of Rod Smith? I mean, don't forget about him, you know. Uh, I know we need three. But, uh, you know, if you're going to draft somebody, you know, draft somebody more of Zeke style or whatnot. And, you know, because Rod Smith is his own. You know, he's he's a pretty good back. He's a strong back, too. He can get you that first down on third down or, or maybe fourth down if you want to go for it. So uh, he's a versatile running back. Um I wouldn't rate. I wouldn't waste an early draft pick on a running back. Uh, I would pick a running back later in the draft, you know. But uh, that's just not something that we that we desperately need. Um, so with no Darren McFadden and, and losing Morris to, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say losing Morris to free agency. Uh, by the time training camp starts, hell, Ross Smith should be the number number two back behind Zeke. You know, um, there should be no question. So, but. You know, we'll see. You know, time will tell. But that's just my view on it. Um, I like Rod Smith. I like everything about him. He's a very aggressive running back. Um, but he, he, you have to have faith in him. You have to continue to get him out there. You have to t continue to work with him. Don't keep bringing in new guys and new faces. I know it's, I know it's the NFL and it's the business, but you got to work with what you got. You know, you can't let this guy go because he's a good talent, man. The only problem I have with Rod Smith is his height. He's 6'3". Um, 220, I believe. Um, not very fast. He ran a 4'6", 440. But uh, that's okay. You know, that's good enough. I mean, he like I say, he, he proved himself last year. But the height is my only problem because he's such a big target. But Bo Jackson was good. He was tall, too. Uh, Eric Dickerson, one of the leading rushers, you know, behind Emmitt in, in the NFL history. He was, I think he was 6'2", 6'3". Eddie George was 6'3". You know, a lot of good backs were, were, were tall like that. But, you know, when you're a big target and you're a running back, that leads to injury. That's my thing. You know, you get hit, you know, you're a big target trying to get through that hole. It's hard to, it's hard to hit those holes. You know, Emmitt can hit those holes. Zeke can hit those holes because they, 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 they're a little bit shorter. You know, even Alfred Morris was able to hit the holes a little bit. But, but that's all I got, man. I just want to talk about Rod Smith a little bit. I didn't want y'all to forget about my boy. Uh, make sure y'all leave a like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. And make sure you stay prayed up because you never know what the day is going to bring you. Holla back at your boy. I'm out.